my name is Filippo Rivetti and I'm a filmmaker specialized in time-lapse photography. Summit Creative, a new backpacks brand, sent me one of their brand new camera backpacks to try out. This is my favorite kind of camera backpack. It has the main opening on the back, but it's also possible to access all the gear from the side. It also has a roll top that can be expanded so you can carry more or less gear. The back opening features a couple of sleeves, one for a laptop up to 16 inches and another one for a tablet. One of the main features is the adjustable inside configuration. You can move the main divider into five set position, giving more or less space between the top and bottom compartment. The roll top compartment can also be expanded even more by adjusting the internal separation. The roll top is one of my favorite features, giving a lot of versatility to the bag, allowing to easily expand the carrying capacity. The roll top can be accessed from two different zip, one on top and one on the bottom, and also has some uh, organization pocket inside. Let's now have a look at all the details and features of this bag. The zippers have the high quality Japanese YKK zips, with some nice touches like little tabs to help you open and close the zips. The buckles are American Duraflex, very easy to open just with one end. The bag is made of a very durable and wear-resistant nylon that is also waterproof. It is a very sturdy backpack and has some features taken from the hiking backpacks, like for example the aluminum frame that is inside and the adjustable and very comfy shoulder straps. The back panel is reinforced and feels very nice on the back while walking. I also really like the removable waist belt. It is adjustable and on one side it has a big pocket for mobile or other items, while on the other side it has a very special strap that can hold a tripod, a camera or an extra pouch. The chest strap is adjustable and has the usual whistle. The shoulder strap also has each a very nice pouch that is flexible and can easily hold a water bottle. The left and right pocket can also hold a water bottle or a tripod, and one of the two sides also has a zipper pocket for other items like filters and memory cards. Another really nice feature is the front pocket. It is already quite large and goes the whole length of the backpack, but is also expandable and you can easily fit a gimbal. It also has some nice organizer and pockets inside. There are also some other nice details, like a water connection for a bladder and an hidden helmet holder. Another nice touches are the front straps that, if not needed, can be easily tucked inside and hidden away. There are many places where you can carry your tripod or tripods. On top of being able to attach it on the side of a waist belt, you can attach it on either side, inside the pocket, or also on the front where you can carry up to two tripods. What I really like are also the handles. So there is one large handle on top and one on the side, so you can carry the bag however you want. It also has a trolley sleeve on the back, so you can just put it on top of your trolley when you go to the airport. The bag is coming in three sizes, 30, 40 and 50 liters. And the one I'm testing is the biggest one, the 50 liter one. All these quality and features come at a steep price. The model I'm reviewing, the 50 liter, cost $699. The 40 liters one cost $599 and the 30 liters cost $549. You can also choose between three colors, black, green and orange. All in all is a very well built uh, camera backpack with some incredible features and a lot of versatility. Unfortunately, it's a bit heavy at 2.75 kg. All in all is an amazing backpack and I can't wait to try it on my upcoming projects.